So many people keep contacting me on a regular basis and saying, do you have vegans? Have you gone absolutely insane? Are you really upset? Are you okay? What's going on with you? Because you seem to be making so many videos where you are just hating on vegans left, right and centre and being very aggressive and violent with your communication in these videos that are directed towards vegans. And it's very interesting that people keep saying this because, well, the matter of the fact is, it's not true at all. I may be raising my voice, but I'm just passionate. I'm alive. I'm vibrant. I'm thriving because I'm eating animal foods. So it makes me very enthusiastic. Does it mean that I'm angry? No, not whatsoever. If you actually saw me in my everyday life, I pretty much never get angry. And since making the switch to an animal-based diet after eating a vegan diet for around six years, that I quit around 45 days ago, I have felt the calmest and most content and serene within myself more than I ever did on my whole six years on a vegan diet or pretty much at any other time in my life when I wasn't even on a vegan diet as well. I'm so much more emotionally balanced and emotionally stable, unlike people such as Freely, Durian Rider, Vegan Gains, that seem to have so much actual real in them because they do get really angry and violent in their videos and use very violent communication, which I am not for at all. Yet, when vegans watch those types of people, they love that they're like this. They love it when they on this person that's not a vegan or this person that's eating meat and this person and this person and this person. They just find it really entertaining, yet they tend to see them in a very positive light. Because guess what? They are vegans and the people that are watching them are vegans that think this type of thing towards them and see them in this way. But when it is someone that's eating meat being quite passionate such as myself, oh my god, I'm a really bad person. Like, I need to be taken off of YouTube. Like, it's just absolutely ridiculous. And all these people are doing uh, is projecting their own opinions onto me, which every single different person in the world has a different opinion with everything in life. Not everyone is the same. We are all unique and different. And that is okay. That's what makes us human. But most of these people that are keyboard warriors and just throw those and slander at me that are vegans, these people are obviously not very happy people within themselves. They are suffering within themselves because a lot of intense emotions are coming up for them and then they are projecting it towards me. So it's just affecting their human experience in a negative way. But guess what? When people do that to me, do you know normally how I respond? Well, one, I don't get any emotional charge to it whatsoever because why would I? These are just random keyboard warriors saying random things because maybe they just want to annoy me at the same time as well. I just detach myself from it emotionally because I don't care at all. I don't care what other people think or say about me, except for the people that are close to me in my life, such as my intimate partner and my family members and my closest friends. But just random people online, I don't care. And what I normally say to them is, Thank you for sharing your opinion with me or thanks for sharing your unconstructive critical feedback because most of them are just sharing unconstructive critical feedback and they are just wasting their time and energy actually making these comments towards me. Instead, they could stop wasting their time on people left, right and centre and using that time to do something more productive in life or more meaningful in life. Like, come on. I don't ever go around, ever, at any point in my whole journey with being on YouTube and before I used to be on YouTube, hating on people. Yeah, I don't agree with what certain people do, but I understand we are all on our own journey. And as long as someone isn't harming me directly or my loved ones, then they can do what they want. It is their choice at the end of the day. I'm never going to try and force my own beliefs down someone's throats. I will share my own personal opinion if people want to hear it or ask me for it if I'm making a YouTube video like I am now. And you know what I have to say to these angry people that think that I'm just in on vegans? Thank you for coming on my channel because you actually boost all my analytics across my whole YouTube channel and all of the videos, well, a lot of the videos that I have 
on my channel, which gives me more money and it also makes it so YouTube improves the algorithm with my videos so then more people see them and then more people hear the information that I am trying to share with the people in the world that actually look up videos on YouTube. And yeah, I don't hate anyone in the world. There's a lot of people that have done a lot of bad things to me throughout my whole entire life, just as with everyone that has experienced at some point in their life. But I don't hold on to resentments and there's just no point for it whatsoever. Because guess what? You hold on to that stuff. Whether you're aware of it or not, it is affecting your whole human experience and it's affecting you subconsciously and consciously and it's stopping you from living the best life ever. So if you're going around with all of that within you, man, you're doing yourself a disservice because you're doing yourself a disservice because it doesn't make you feel good. I wanna be free from all of that stuff so I don't hold on to that stuff. No matter what anyone has done to me or what anyone is doing in the world, I don't necessarily agree with what everyone's doing in the world, but why let myself have emotions come up that are just gonna affect me in a negative way? And then it affect the way that I look at things in life with my own perception and the way that I just experience life. It's just not worth it whatsoever. The effort to worth is just not worth it in any way, shape or form. And I'd recommend if you're someone that acts on anyone for anything, just stop wasting your time. You're wasting your energy. Start conserving your energy and using it for more important things in life that could better your human experience and your life as a whole and maybe your connections in your life as well. And yeah, we already live in a world where there is so much separation and so many people feel so isolated and so alone and then we have religions and then we have veganism which is like a religion and so many other things in the world that cause more separation. Instead, we need more things that bring people together. And we just need so much more compassion and empathy towards everyone within the world. If this started to happen, the place would just be in this human world a much better place to live. And the more compassionate and understanding you can be towards other people, the more receptive that they're gonna be when maybe you can share certain things with them that they may be open to that then they possibly take on board. But if you're someone such as these angry vegans that hate on people, guess what happens when you're aggressive towards someone? It shuts them down, it activates your amygdala part of the brain, known as the reptilian brain, and you go into fight, flight, or freeze mode. So you're in complete survival mode. And guess what happens when you're in that state? You are not receptive to listening to anyone in any way, shape, or form when that is going on for you. And this is what so many vegans are doing on YouTube, for example, such as Freely, Durham Rider, and Vegan Games that I mentioned earlier on. Oh my God, they are some of the most vegan people out there on YouTube and oh my god I never even wanted to associate with these people when I was vegan because these people are very unconscious people unlike what they believe which is that they're very conscious beings they may be in certain ways but man with their communication and how they behave towards people that aren't vegan pff, guess what if you behaved like that towards me when I wasn't vegan I would have never switched vegan in the first place which have actually been a good thing. So damn, man. Yeah, I wish I had found out sooner about them before I made that stupid dietary switch to a malnourishing, deteriorating, plant-based vegan diet that is not sustainable, as I discovered after doing it for around six years and then quitting and then switching to a carnivore-based diet that I've been on for around 45 days. And so many other people have found that once they've made the switch as well, they start to thrive and feel the best that they can feel, which is really, really good. So yeah, I am gonna share my own radical truth as much as I need to through my YouTube videos and in my everyday life. And if you don't wanna to listen to it, don't listen. It's as simple as that. But as long as I am being authentic to myself and I am doing my best to share my radical truth, then that's all that matters to me. And I don't care how many people hate on me, 
and that don't want me to do this, I don't even care if I lose all my friends or all of my family members or anything. Because guess what? The people that are closest to me in life, none of them have left my life whatsoever. They understand what I'm doing, they see that I'm doing it for very positive reasons, very good reasons, that is beneficial to all people that are receptive to listen to what I'm sharing. And they see that I'm a very good person and I'm doing a very good thing. And guess what? Even a lot of my family members are still vegan. And they're not judging me or criticizing me. They don't think I'm hating on other people whatsoever. They know who I am truly. Unlike a lot of these people online that just see certain parts of me through my videos. Hmm, who would have ever thought that? That you can't truly know someone fully that you don't know in real life and you just watch their videos. Hmm, 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 yeah. Well, guess what? So many people that you watch through movies, the TV, and through YouTube and other social media platforms, the majority of the time you're making assumptions about them and you have no clue about them whatsoever, which is absolutely fine. But, yeah. That's it for this video. I'm not gonna drag it out any longer because I've shared everything that I need to anymore and it would be a waste of my time and your time as well watching this video. So if you like the video, like it down below. Don't forget to leave your questions down below and don't forget to share and subscribe. Catch you on the flip side and remember, enjoy the rest of your day and make the most of it. Peace.